Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding department highest salary and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews twice over the past six months. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called employee with four different columns, ID, name, salary, and department ID. ID being the primary key column for this table. Department ID is a foreign key of the ID from the department table. Okay, each row of this table indicates the ID, name and salary of an employee. It also contains the ID of their department. Okay, obviously we also have a second table called department with two columns, ID and the name of the department. ID being the primary key column for this table. And there is a, a relation between department tables column ID and employee tables column department ID, right? Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to find employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments. The order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have two different departments, right? IT and sales. Let's see for, so there are three employees in IT, right? Uh, Joe, Jim and Max. What is the highest salary? Uh, 90,000, right? So Jim, Jim and Max, they both should be in the output. And for department ID 2, that is sales. So there are two employees. The highest salary is 80,000. That is Henry, right? So Jim, Max and Henry should be in the output. And that is what we have, right? So if you see, this question is like very simple. All you have to do is, you know, the first thing that we can do here is that because in our output, we have the name of the department, right? So, and that information is in the different table that is department table, right? So the first thing that we can do is we can join these two tables on department ID and ID column of these two tables and get that information in, right? So let's start building this query. So from this table, called employee alias as E, let's left to join the department table, right? Department table alias as D on E dot department ID is equal to D dot ID, right? So once you have joined this, so what you are, you are going to have, you are going to have basically two more columns with ID and name from these tables. So here you are going to have the same thing, right? But here name, so one is going to be IT, IT, sales, sales, IT, right? So you are going to have that. Now, based on that, what we can do is, we can calculate the maximum salary of each department, right? So. Uh, another thing to do here is here you see like you only need three different you know uh, columns in the output so you don't need to return like you can also do select star but instead of doing that like what we can do is we can only return the relevant ones right so for example you have department employee and salary so we can you know so basically e dot name is basically the employee this is the salary right and d dot name is equal to the name of the department right so that is what you have the as aliases in the output so what we can do is return e dot name as employee right because if you see that is what we have here right so e dot name is equal as e employee then you have the salary part right so you have e dot salary right and then you have department's name, right? So D dot name as department, right? Now, what you are going to do is you are also creating a fourth column, right? Which has basically for each of the department IDs, the maximum salary, right? And how you can do that? You can use the max window function. So since you are using a window function, you need to write the over clause. So over then partition by, right? Department ID right because for each of the department you need to get the maximum salary so department id belongs to which table employee right so e dot department id right you partition by department id and then you calculate the maximum value from the salary column right and salary column is in employees table right so e dot salary and let's alias this as max salary right Okay, this is not complete yet, but let me go ahead and run this to see like whatever we are trying to do, we are achieving that or not. So if you see here, you are having like employee salary department and max salary, right? So Joe, if you see Joe 
salary is 70,000 and department ID is one which is IT so department IT and the maximum salary of uh, department ID one that is IT is 90,000 right so we have that so we are getting that what now we can do is we can save this in a common table expression right so with CTE as right and once we have this then all we need to do is from this common table expression we are only going to keep those rows where the salary is equal to the maximum salary right because that is what the question says we need to find all the employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments right and by doing it this way like where from city where salary is equal to the maximum salary just as we saw for it department right there can be more than one people whose salary is equal to the highest salary right so by doing that we can keep all those employees in our output right so from common table expression where salary is equal to max salary right then we need to return the three, three different columns right so department employee and salary so what we can do is return return department right then employee and then salary okay and since we don't need to order this by anything so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases okay so this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question all you had to do was firstly join the information from the employee table and the department table because in your output you need to get the department name right once you have that then for each of the departments you are going to find the maximum salary by using window function that is partition by the department id and find the maximum salary of each of the departments and once you have that store this in a common table expression and then from there only keep those rows where the salary is equal to maximum salary because that is what the question is asking and then you return the columns in the order that is asked in the output so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video